everybody I'm gonna go try to do a little shed hunting sun shining for change it's somewhat nice out there's the chicks the chick the chick 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 check this out <laughs> tried to take the four-wheeler to bass pro everybody's following me lost two these two tires went out i had to pop one from each side Yeah, that's the kind of luck I got. There's the boiler. Hopefully she'll get up there this Saturday. Everybody's been wondering about her. Since setting since she blowed up. So hopefully Mask Pro can let me know the problem. How much it's gonna cost to fix it. Well, they're doing good. They're hiding in there. Not talking much yet. Flair's rooster is. You guys want, think Flair should have that rooster right there. Or that one. Or that one. Save a rooster. Player, save a rooster before they go to the Hong Kong buffet. All right, let's go see if we can find some sheds. Stay tuned. Let me show you guys this trail right here. There's two of them right here for deer. I'm up on top of this ridge. I just came up here from down there. Look at that view. This is a workout, guys. Highly encourage it. If you don't know what to look for when you're out shed any, just walk on the deer trails. I mean, look at that deer trail. Just, do you see a deer trail? Follow it. Eventually you'll find one. When did you guys see that? I'm heading up the ridge to the top of this thing. Stay tuned. All right, I'm back where I found the first one. You guys seen uh, a, few, a few episodes ago. I've lost a lot of snow since then. Which is good. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of looking for the small ones. More so today. The small ones I seem to find first. They're a lot harder to find when they're snow too. I'll take whatever I can find, but I like finding those small antlers too. Your spike bucks and whatnot. Still early, but I hit it as soon as possible. Just try to beat the competition. It don't matter private or public, you're gonna have competition. This looks good. See how flattened down it is? See, look right over here where I found that antler. It's either right here or right over there. There's something to dig in here. It's pretty black dirt for this area. Yep. Basically, we're looking for places where the deer congregate. Wanted you guys to see this. I know that someone hunts out of that stand. They probably put some kind of mineral down. But this whole area right here is pretty destroyed. It's all flattened. You see everything else is standing grass. But this area is all beat down. There's some droppings. But they... There's some more dropping. But they get up in these draws. You can see that there's uh, protection from the wind up in there. That's a good spot to look for. Oh, 
I see one right over here. That looks like last year's. The grass is just so beat down, you can see it now. See the green on it right there? Been laying here for a while. We pick them all up though, unless they're really chewed up. Chewed up ones make good dog toys. It's the first one. Yeah, see the grass is super tall right there. That's what makes it easier to find the ones from last year. Once they get the, the grass all beat down. Let's see. I must have missed it. That's, that's for sure. Check this out. Look at the difference in the ground here. I'm in the timber now. <laughs> that makes it a little harder. But you got to check them bald spots. A lot of times that's because deer have been tearing up those areas and there ain't no snow. That's where the deer will hang out in those kind of areas. What a big change of pace. Well, I'll keep cruising along here. Just power walking everything. I don't know if you guys are able to make them out or not. There's at least four bucks right there. Little bucks. Little tiny bucks. I see some of them only have one antler. Let me reset this. Right there. Several bucks right there. So I'm only on one side. Pretty decent antler on him. There's like four or five of them. Still holding. And that's as close as I can zoom in. I mean, they can, they know I'm here because they can smell me. cool thing is that some of them are missing maybe I can find them over they came from right over here hopefully I can find them the climb they were just did they went down the canyon and they went up that side I don't much feel like that today nope I'll go over there though soon <clears throat> Welcome back guys, I just found something for trapping season, the following one. Looks like a cow shoulder, I might carry that home with me, put it in the fur shed, use it on a set next year, it's a pretty cool find. I find a lot of deer shoulders, but this is way bigger than that deer shoulder. Pretty sweet. Use it for some eye appeal, maybe on a cat set or something. This is one of the good spots right here, which if you're gonna find antler, and this is where them bucks came from, but so far I ain't seeing nothing. I'm walking more, kind of close to where I trap. Look at this coyote tracks. 
goes right to the edge of the cliff. So he's gonna hug this right here. That little bit of opening right there would be good for a cable. And he just went right that way. They just go right along the edge of the, of these cliffs. I know it's a shed hunting video, but look at the coyotes. They just go right along the edge. See there's tall grass? Coyote tracks. Just get out away from the tall grass. You guys see me catch coyotes right up here. But look, coyote tracks right along the edge of this cliff. That's where my foil should be right now. Look at that. So deep. It's crazy. Did that coyote just skip instead of turning around that corner, he just shot straight across to the next one. <clears throat> Ten bucks as he worked my sets. <laughs> So far, he's not, he's going the opposite way, but I think it loops around. I think he's going to go right to my sets. There's his tracks there. There's his trail. Something made him go in right there for a minute. And he comes back out and he heads right up towards my set. Nope. He completely skirted around him. Completely skirted around him right there. He went, he's like, nope, I've been seeing people bed here. That's where our set was, guys. Well, the sun's setting on this day. A lot of geese flying around. Got the antler and the cow shoulder so far. It's uh, looking like they're still carrying most of their antlers. I'll still go out quite a bit. I'm going to just uh, change properties. It'll pick up here soon. And there's a big flock of geese coming right now. And there's probably the biggest flock of swans I've ever seen over there in a the field. Today's the last day for Canadian geese. And I think they know it. Let's see if you guys can see them. There you go. Right over top. Bang, bang. Little suckers. All kinds of wildlife out today. All right, um, appreciate everybody watching. I'll start cranking them out here pretty soon. Just need them to drop their antlers. I heard that they all dropped early. It's not looking like it. Sun's setting. I'm just gonna walk this fence line. Man, there's a lot of geese out here. I heard snow starts tomorrow, snow season. Might do that. Usually when I'm, uh, got good ice and I'm muskrat trapping, they swarm right over me. All right, guys. I'll get back on if I find one on my way out of here. Thanks for being here. Whoop. Just hit a lean. Appreciate it, guys.